Hello friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Ditly Has Plants. In today's video, we are setting up my budget for April in my classic happy planner combined with the Budget by Paycheck workbook. So let's get started. Okay friends, so for the month of April, I'm kind of doing like a little hybrid mashup kit. What I have here are couple of sheets. The monthly view is from Simply Smith Stickers. This is my first time ordering a kit from this shop. I have placed an order from them before, but it was like a full page sticker for discount code tracking and for sticker kit tracking. It was really cute, really cool. But she just started doing monthly kits for the classic happy planner. So I was really excited to hear that and I wanted to check it out. I also have here a couple of the budget shells from Fern Creek Stickers. This is the April pattern. I think it was called Ultraviolet. So I have the sinking fund strip and then I also have the savings tracker strip. So I'm combining these because I felt like even though this is like a deeper color, I just felt like we were kind of doing the whole floral thing here. And then I just have some plain washi from my package of washi from Michael's. So I'm going to start with taking these pages out of the book, which is why I love Happy Planner. I'm going to take these ones out and I might as well go ahead and take this sheet out and we'll get this one out. So these are the ones we're going to start with. And I'll move the book to the side. Okay, so let me just do the monthlies here. This is my last video that I need to film for this weekend. <laughs> I've been trying to get all of my April monthlies out, out. So, okay, just get them filmed and then I have the raw footage that I can just edit and upload and all of that through the week. So let's see. Oh, wow, this is awesome. It fits perfectly. Oh, that's so nice. And I love that it's like not quite up to the very edge of the page. So that's great. Okay, so let's put this one down. I had a busy day. It's Sunday. So I got up and did my chores and then went to go meet Saya from Saya Planning. And she brought her pupper, Maya. So it was really sweet. I got to meet her doggy. Okay, that looks really good. So friends, you know how I've been covering this up with like a box, a full box? Since this is all kind of a floral look, I get to leave that alone. I'm not even gonna cover it up, I love it. And then something else different that I did was because there were so many of these appointment labels and there were two color codes, what I decided was I would just use these instead of doing the highlighter. So I get paid twice a month, so it worked out perfectly. There were two different colors and I had just enough boxes to go ahead and do what I needed to for my paychecks. So let's put the paydays down first. And I'm gonna pull out my little Fern Creek sticker hybrid album because I think I have some payday stickers in here. I sure do. Let's see. Since this is kind of a scripty font here, why don't we go ahead and we'll use these ones. I'm just gonna take two, stick them on my hand. And we get paid, we actually, we got paid on the first. I'm gonna cover up this April Fool's Day down here. And then we get paid on the 15th, which is Good Friday and Passover. So I'm just gonna cover these up again. Okay, so those are my paydays. And then for, let's do, I'm gonna do this color here for my first paycheck of the month and then this color here for the second one. So. And what I thought, since these there's these little boxes here, I'll just check mark them off once I go ahead and have all that paid out. So on the first, I do their allowance and tuition. So this is a great way for me to use up these boxes with this kit. And we have my auto loan. And then I'm referring to my dashboard that I made. Netflix is always the 13th. I don't know why I can't ever remember that. So I'm going to put this on the 13th for Netflix. And then Otis has some prescriptions that I'm picking up. We're doing, we're starting his food trial. So I'm going to go ahead and put these here. So because he's doing this food trial, I had to take him off of NextGuard and HeartGuard. 
and put him on a different kind of flea and like heartworm medicine. Okay, so prom ball. So we've got some things going on with needing to purchase tickets and getting dresses altered. So I'm gonna just put this here because I'm hoping to get the girls' dresses into the alterationist this week here because prom is down here. Oh, I should do another sticker for that. And then my registration for my cart is due and I'm gonna pay that on the 4th. It's not due till the end of the month but I wanna get it paid. That way I get the stickers in time and I don't like run the risk of having my stickers come late. Okay, so now I'm gonna move into the second paycheck. So on the 15th, again, I always do the girl's allowance, the tuition, and then the auto loan. And then I also do Disney on that. I then my sister-in-law. Okay, there's that. And then iTunes is towards the end of the month. That's the 29th. So I'm gonna put this here. Wow, this is kind of easy using stickers. I kind of like it. Well, okay, so also what prompted me to do this is today when I met with my friend Saya, she brought her budget planner. Oh my gosh, friends. If you're not already following her on Instagram so you can see her photos, her planners all look so lovely. I'm gonna put Easter here just because I will do my final shopping for Easter on this Saturday, even though I know Easter is this date here. Just getting the last little bits that I need. So I'm gonna put that there. Um, she uses the budget stickers and I love the way it looks. And I was trying to just use the highlighter method because that way I'm not spending more money on stickers, but I think I'm gonna do budget stickers from time to time. Like I probably won't be able to do it all the time, but I wanna do sometimes. Okay, so I wanna do another prom and ball sticker because what happens is junior prom is on this day and then senior ball is on this day, the day after. So Sophie already has her dress and her tickets, but I need to get Emma's tickets. So I'm just gonna do another one of these. I'm gonna split it up between the two paychecks because I haven't bought Emma's ticket yet. She has her dress. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here. Okay, so I think I have everything right now for my monthly spread. I do have a couple of these cute little boxes that I could put up here along the top. I'm gonna hold off on doing that for right now um, just cause I really like how nice and clean this looks and I love actually using these stickers. I think that looks really good. So I'm gonna flip over to the back side of this page. Let me move that over. And then over here is where I usually put my goals and I am going to apply my unspent cash to Otis's envelope because he's got some vet bills coming up, some prescriptions and things as I noted on my monthly view that I want to kind of refill his little um, envelope. And then I also want to apply unspent cash to my car fund, like my car maintenance. So I'm just gonna put car maintenance here. Okay, so that's that. And then down here for the focus, this is where I usually put like FSA dollars. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna use one of these and I'm gonna put my FSA, which I don't think we've had any FSA expenses recently. So I'm just gonna cover that focus on, put that there. And this was just a planner Kate sheet of the CLR3. This is color number 20. Okay, so that's that. And then you know what? There are these like check boxes here. I think I'm gonna, I think this is all one. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use some scissors. And I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna cut this and use these here like this and I'll put this next color down since it took I needed two lines I'm just gonna do this cool okay so that's that and then I'm gonna take my blank sheet next so let me move my monthly pages to the side so I'm gonna take this blank sheet and let's start with the savings tracker. 
and put this down. Let's see. I'm going to just, I'm going to put it down on this line here. I love these Run Creek stickers, budget stickers. They're perfect and it's, it's exactly the way I track. So I like it. I've been trying not to get too nervous about my retirement. I'm still five, five to seven years out from when I want to retire, but it's still making me nervous watching it go down. Okay, so I'm going to put, let's see. I'm gonna put this down here. And then I'm just gonna draw some lines in. So, and rather than the date, what I actually put here is what the fund is. So this is my emergency fund. And then I have a 401k, I have a Roth IRA, and then we have 529s for each of the girls. Okay, so those are my savings. And then down here is where I do like my weekly check-ins and all I do, I do it differently than like the Dave Ramsey way. So each week what I do is I look at my cash envelopes and I look at how much do I have left, right? Because that's what matters to me is how much do I have left to spend? Okay, so that's that. And then flipping over to the other side is where I'm gonna build out my sinking funds. So I'm gonna get a, peel this off, stick this down. That's a little crooked. And then let's put this one here. Okay, I'm a little off over here, but that's okay. And then I am going to use this washi here. Oh, there it is. I was like, where did that washi go? I'm gonna overshoot it by a little bit. Come down here. Let's, I like this deep purple. Let me tear this one over here on this edge since it was the starting end. Okay. And then let's use another one of these and I'm gonna say cash envelopes. So these are my cash sinking funds and then let's put the totals down here okay and then I will draw lines in for here Alrighty, and then let's fill in each of my sinking funds. So I have auto maintenance, auto registration, which I'll re be restarting, school registration, we're restarting that as well, and then school expenses. Usually it's like books and all the other things. And then we have a Christmas. planner conference, Amazon, Canva, college tours, which we are going to be going on a couple soon, sports, and then vacation. Always want to be saving kind of like around the year for vacation and then close. Okay, and then my cash envelopes. I have a Christmas cash one. I have Otis, of course, and then I have personal. So things like dry cleaning, getting your nails done, getting your hair cut, that kind of stuff. So that is that. And then 
I am going to be moving into or starting this paycheck bill tracker. So this is for my paycheck on the first. My income is my payroll, right? And then going back to the monthly spread, I have allowance, tuition, auto loan, and then here I also put auto for gas, and I'm filling up two cars. We have Otis's prescriptions, we have prom, ball, the Q5 registration, and then I have Netflix. And then I also leave money in here since um, all of my sticker purchasing is online. I can't do a cash envelope for that. So I will leave money in here for fun. I always leave some money in here for food. Um, and then also just extra miscellaneous. And then my cash categories are, again, food. That's all the main bulk of our grocery shopping is done out of a cash envelope or eating out kind of stuff. Food fun, miscellaneous, and then I always pull some money to put into Otis's cash envelope and the personal one that I was just telling you about. Okay, so that's that. And then looking at the sinking funds I just set up, I always like to put something into the auto, both the maintenance, because we have, oops, both the maintenance and the registration because the girl's car is an older car. So I'm always saving for that and same for school. Like those always get whatever I can put away. Okay, and then I also like to make sure that I'm putting something in Christmas all the time, even if it's just a little bit. And then um, because college is so much on the forefront, I'm gonna put some more into college tours, like I said, because we have several coming up. And then I want to put some towards Amazon this pay period and Canva because I don't think I did last time. So I kind of between the two paychecks, like right now you I don't have planner conference. So next, next paycheck is when I'll try to put some money towards that. Okay, so that is basically how I'm looking at working out my numbers for this first paycheck. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I will put these pages back into my book. Okay, just to recap quickly, here's the index page. Isn't that cute? Love the here and now, it's so pretty. Here is my monthly view with each paycheck. I've got the first paycheck in blue and the second paycheck in sort of this dusty rose. I have some of my financial goals where my unspent cash will go towards. I'll track my FSA spending here. This is my savings tracker. So I'll get the ending balance from March and put it here in the start. And then at the end of the month record any additions or subtractions and the ending balance there. I've got my sinking funds here, different categories of those that are in my bank account versus those in my cash envelopes. Again, I'll take the end of March and as my starting, any additions or withdrawals and then the ending balance and then just working out my first paycheck and how I'll be splitting that up between my expenses. Alrighty friends, I think that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.